Hello to my art students. It is so good to see you here on my YouTube channel. I miss you guys so much and I miss having you in class and seeing your faces and uh, making art together. So we decided to come together and make some online lessons so that you can do art from distance learning and we can still get together in my studio online. So this is my art studio that we're in right now where I create all kinds of art and I um, just absolutely love it and I'm glad to welcome you here today. We've decided to put together um, some current day artists that I'm going to be teaching you from. They are very um, active on social media. They are very active on their teaching courses via YouTube or Skillshare or different. After you learn about them and we do our class, if you like their style and you'd like to go follow them and learn more about them, um, they're very uplifting right now during this time. They're encouraging people to get outdoors when they can go on their walks with family and get creative and um, doing some things that you might not otherwise be able to do in our busy lives to just really take advantage of this quiet time. So I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Um, there were packets that were available for pickup on Monday. If you weren't able to get one with the watercolor supplies in it, then you definitely can just use whatever you have at home. Um, if that's markers or crayons or pencils or oil pastels, chalk, whatever you have to make art with, it's going to look fantastic. So use anything you can to be creative. And before we begin, I just want you to remember that your art is an expression of yourself. We talk about this in class all the time. It's your own creativity. And um, so I just want you definitely to focus in on letting your own inner voice out and all your work is always amazing. I don't grade you. So if you weren't able to pick up supplies at school, um, you can also contact, we need to give a big thank you to John at Azel Art Supply. He gave us a lot of Van Gogh watercolor paint that we could um, make the dot cards with to send home. And it was a really great, he gave us a great deal on it. So I just want to send that his way. And if you want to place an order, give them a call and get some stuff. Maybe you can just drop by and pick it up if you get out. So, or if your parents get out. Um, so this lesson was specifically uh, put together for second grade, but you are welcome to try any of the six classes that I'm posting from kinder all the way through fifth grade. So give it a go. And then if you want to do some others, I know our schedules allow for art or music or um, those kinds of activities, I think like one to two o'clock in the afternoon or something. So use that time to just get creative and um, express yourself in your art. So here we go. We're going to move to our first slide, which is um, Ashley Proholis. And she is a watercolor artist, and I absolutely love her. She um, She's very inspiring. She's one of my favorite artists and kind of a girl after my own heart. She loves tent camping, which I do too, and we go camping a lot. Um, she loves the woodsy outdoors and watercolor painting and spending time with her family. And I've learned so much from her over the years. So she is a full-time painter and instructor. And her art is about bringing a tangible connection with the planet and one another to feel the magic of the things and places around us, the wonder and calm and thrill of our spirits. She loves sharing her love for art and her techniques with other people. And watercolor is her favorite medium because of its fuzzy, splashy effects. Ashley, oh, on the next slide, Ashley discovered watercolor by accident. She was actually looking for a better way to brighten the backgrounds of her colored pencil drawings and she happened into watercolor. So on our next slide, you'll see that she incorporated watercolor as a base layer for her work. And over time, each painting became more and more layered with watercolor and colored pencils. And um, that was just the colored pencils became the cherry on the top of her art pieces that mostly became watercolor after that. So um, on the next slide, Ashley is enamored by wildlife and is inspired by her lifetime of playing in the woods. She tries to bring a little bit of the outdoors into her bright and airy paintings. 
this mini watercolor that she did is called plain air painting. That's spelled P-L-E-I-N air. And that may, just means that when you take your art supplies outside and you go paint what you're looking at and what you actually see live on site. Um, this is a Tanner Creek nature trail in Bella Vista, Arkansas, and she painted it while she was watching her new little puppy Toothless play around in the water. So I shared a picture of him with you guys. So on to the next slide. Sometimes she brings her um, other mediums into her process, like maybe a pen or graphite or even gesso in the final painting. And her gestural strokes and splashes convey a lot of energy and a lot of childlike playfulness. So on the next slide, she's a self-taught artist and has been influenced by her time as a graphic designer. And she said that she even used to be a cake decorator and she's learned a lot from that too and put that into her watercolor art. That's kind of funny. Um, each of her jobs has taught her how to just play around and explore colors and shapes and just as a never ending experiment. And she never ever wants to lose sight of having fun in the process of creating art. So our next slide, uh, many of her original works are shown in art galleries and she likes to share a snapshot of her favorite pieces across the United States. Many are from the East Coast and from her hometown of Fayetteville, Arkansas. So here on our next slide, she is an expert in the area of painting light and air. She does beautiful billowy clouds and bright shining sun, very colorful rays. And she just has a great ability to make the onlooker feel like they're right there live in that scene. These pieces are some of her demos and test runs that she did as she prepared for a training course on the Watercolor Summit online class, which I've done before a few years ago. So on our next slide, this is the piece that we're going to work on, our inspiration piece by her. It's called um, Light and Air. And on the next slide, this is your distance learning supplies that went home. And so you would have received a piece of watercolor paper, a watercolor dot card that had each of the um, colors of paint that we'll be using, and a test strip so we can try out our mixed colors and make sure that they look right before we start our painting. You can add in on the right some of the other items that I have shown there. I always use two water containers. I prefer clear glass so that I can see if my water is getting muddy. And I also use a white plate. If you don't have a white plate, that's okay. But white is just great because then you can see the color that you're mixing and make sure that it's true to what you're looking for. I also have a pencil and paper towels. And I like to have a piece of cardboard so that I can tape my watercolor paper on it. Um, it helps the paper not to get wrinkled and to dry flat. And then I will show you how to gently tear the tape away. You can use masking tape or painter's tape or frog tape, just not things like scotch tape or duct tape won't work. Um, the cool part about having this class over video is at least you can pause it. It's not like when we're in the classroom and I have to say, okay guys, we have five minutes left and everybody's rushing to try to finish. You can really take your time and do a really good job. and. Um, catch up or back up. If you didn't understand something, there's not going to be a rush. Take as long as you need so that you feel really good about what you're painting. And I cannot wait to see your masterpieces. So on our last slide, this is my demo example. It is nowhere near as good as Ashley's is. And, and that's what's fun about art is learning new techniques and how to apply them in your art pieces. So once you have completed your beautiful masterpiece, I want you to sign it in the bottom left or the bottom right corner and just do it with a lot of flourish. Just make it a big, beautiful signature because you've worked hard and you've done your very best. So add the flourish to your name and make sure at the bottom that you like the video and um, we will have some things in the comments about where to go post, but once you've finished your beautiful art, I want you to go ahead and post it on Instagram or on Facebook, and you will go to the Oak Meadow Elementary PTA page and um, post it there and use the hashtag SaddleUpMavs 
or rooted oak meadow, hashtag rooted oak meadow. So my hope is that doing art together, even though we can't be in our classroom together right now, that this will keep us having a lot of fun and we can encourage one another in our community and keep our connections going. I think it'll be great when we just like in the classroom and I have you guys look at each other and tell each other you did a good job and um, and that I make sure that you're proud of yourself too, that we still have that kind of encouragement going on, even if it's social media, I think it'll be really fun for us to see each other's work and continue to encourage one another. So let's go have some fun and make art. <laughs>